hello guys welcome to this video thank you for clicking to watch today i'm going to be sharing with you a recipe which is well known in cameroon called ekwang and i hope you enjoy it because this is the best recipe ekwang is a traditional meal which originates from the southwest region of cameroon and it is made from cocoyam cocoyam leaves palm oil and a host of ingredients and fish or meat so aside from using cocoyam cocoyam leaves and palm oil you will also need some ginger some onion some seasoning that's maggi and salt some country onion or rondel or fullo depending on how you call it also some uh, smoked fish or smoked meat you can use both if you want ingredients like pepper and crayfish are optional it depends on you if you eat them or not for the preparation of this delicious meal we have to peel wash and grate our cocoa yams uh, you can either grate it like i said or you can blend it but when blending make sure you do not put in much water or no water at all because sometimes the cocoa yam can be quite watery except when it is dry cocoa yams then you can add a little bit of water so that it does not uh, come out strong or hard also the next thing is to prepare your leaves so when you grate your cocoa yams you can now prepare your leaves your cocoa yam leaves by washing them you make sure you wash them well both sides have to be well washed and then you cut them into square or rectangular shapes so that you'll be able to wrap the ekwang in neat just like you can see and then you can add a little bit of salt into your uh, your cocoyam paste when you finish grinding you add a little bit of salt into it and then you start wrapping it on the leaves make sure you wrap your ekwang on the inner side of your cocoyam leaves and also make sure that you coat your pot with some palm oil before you begin to put in the ekwang in the pot there are many ways you can put your or organize your ekwang in your pot you can do it around the pot like i do all the time or you can just put it to fill the pot but making sure that there are some spaces between the ekwang make sure you fill your pot in layers that is you put your ekwang you put some fish then you put some ekwang and you put some fish just like that until the pot is full this helps you to have your fish evenly spread in the pot without stirring the pot very much you can also slice some of the leftover cocoyam leaves into your ekwang if you want it to really have more of the leaves and to be thicker when your pot is full put it on the fire and put some boiling water into the pot let the water be really boiling so that it's going to make your ekwang to start cooking immediately this helps your ekwang to be less soft or to scatter in the pot with the water so make sure that you add hot water hot boiling water into the pot while it's on the fire so that it begins to boil immediately after this cover the pot and allow it to boil so let it boil until it's almost ready so while this pot is boiling you are going to grind the rest of your ingredients together either on the stone or using a blender and then you will add them towards the end of uh, your cooking like when the ekwang is, ekwang is almost done you will now add the remaining ingredients to your pot doing this helps the ekwang to have a very good flavor like the flavors stay in the pot the flavors are still very strong and the meal tastes better when you put the ingredients towards the end of your meal you can also put in your palm oil your seasoning at the same time with the ingredients and just cover the pot and allow it to boil and blend and mix until it is ready 
so make sure you taste for seasoning to your to your level if we all have different levels we want it to, to taste so make sure that you taste it when it's okay just allow your pot to simmer gently until the meal is quite ready so serve your ikwang and you can enjoy it by eating with your hands or with a spoon but we know that traditionally we eat with our hands and it is sweeter with the hands so enjoy your ikwang and yeah serve hot and eat hot it's always a very tasty meal and sometimes it's always best to have a kwang the next day because i don't know there's always something about a kwang when you're eating it the next day so thank you guys for watching this video you can always go to my blog i'm going to leave the links of my blog in the description box because you can always bookmark this recipe and make sure that you read it again or you keep it to read it or to use it again so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye